my little dino nuggies. Right. Honkai Star Rail has now been out for about three months, which means it is time for us to do a tier list. That's right, today we are creating the ultimate Honkai Star Rail mommy tier list. <laughs> so to start us off, let's introduce our tiers. We have Mommy, Waifu, Baberham, Lincoln, Aesthetic, BFF, Must Protect, and Meh. I think these are all pretty self-explanatory, so we're just gonna jump right in. First up, we have Asta. Now, I'm gonna be honest here, I don't feel really any type of way about Asta. For me, she just kinda exists. However, that being said, I do think she has a really cute design. She's got these big round eyes, which make her look real sweet and innocent and friendly. So, with that in mind, I am going to place her in the BFF tier. Asta la vista, baby! Next up, we have Bailu. Bailu is so small and purple and dragon and in my humble and objectively correct opinion she probably has the cutest design in the whole entire game besides maybe peppy she got the cute baby puffy cheeks and she is to be protected at all costs even if it means sacrificing our number one waifu because guess what bailu brings her back baby must protect all right next up is branya now listen branya is a very handsome woman. She's polished, she's put together, she's hot, she wears those sexy thigh-high boots, she's got blue balls hanging from her ears. I mean, what's not to love about this woman? She has her stuff together, she's true to herself, she helps other mommies dominate you, but then she also helps you dominate everyone else. This is waifu material right here, ladies and gentlemen. Branya is a waifu. Moving forward, we have... Clara! Okay, is there a needs shoes tier? I should have made a needs shoes tier. This was a missed opportunity on my part. Okay, there. She needs some shoes! I would say must protect, but she has Svarog for that. Also, she looks like that one girl from Fate Stay Night, and their fighting styles are pretty similar as well. That's it. That's the whole sentence, and I'm not gonna elaborate on it. Anyways, I think the real question when it comes to Clara is, who is more daddy, Berserker or Svarog? Let me know down in the comments. I'll let you be the judge of this one. Following this, we have... Cocolia. I was gonna put her into mommy tier since she is one, but hear me out, okay? She is going into waifu. There is a reason for this, which we will touch on right now. Cocolia boss form. You cannot tell me that this Cocolia and this Cocolia are on the same level. These are not the same. This is a mommy. I would let her step on me. I would let her dominate me. Heck, I would even let her impale me with the goddamn ice lands. She looks so good. Look at them thick thighs. Look at those wide birthing hips. She is wearing pelvis high ice boots and her boobs have become one with the cosmos. I do not think it gets much more mommy than this. This is peak mommy right here. Okay, next up we have Herta, and I almost feel like she deserves her own tier, either a puppet tier or a kudoring tier. However, I didn't want to make the tier list too gigantic, and we already added a need shoes tier for Clara, so with that in mind, I'm going to put Herta in the BFF tier. Yes, she is aesthetic, but just imagine the meme potential with Herta as your BFF. We'd be rolling through the local mall like... <laughs> Next up is Himiko. Oi! What a woman. Himiko is perfection. She's like a Greek goddess descended from the heavens above. It's like if Aphrodite got isekai'd into the Honkai Star Rail universe. I mean, look at this drip. We have the thigh-high slit in her dress. We have these gold accents to compliment her eyes. She sits there and drinks a freaking cup of tea while watching the world burn. And she murders enemies with a giant pizza cutter. If that's not a mommy, then I guess the Pope ain't Catholic. Moving forward, we have a Hook. I mean, Hook is just a cutie who also packs a punch. Hook hard carried me in my early Honkai days. Also, she has a hat. I actually think this hat elevates her design to an S tier design, but as far as our tier list goes, Hook is must protect tier for sure. Following this, we have Fushuan. I am honestly obsessed with this design. It is gorgeous, it is refined, it is elegant, it is intricate. We have a very symmetrical design with an element of asymmetry with this earring. I love the tassels, I'm a sucker for a good tassel. The color scheme slaps. I love the jewelry pieces to accent the overall design. This is just beautiful and makes my eyeballs swell with unbridled joy. Fushuan is aesthetic. She is the aesthetic and she is going into the aesthetic tier. 
Moving forward, we have Jing Liu. Hubba hubba, there is something about a woman with a blindfold that just really pumps my nads. Jing Liu is criminally attractive, a totally badass fighter, and she is more than welcome to step on me any day of the week. I believe in Jing Liu supremacy. She's a little scary and might be holding me against my will as we speak, but joke's on her because I enjoy it. Anyway, Jing Liu is one hot mommy, and therefore she is going into the mommy tier. Next up is Kafka. Meh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Please don't cancel me. What did you guys think? I don't have taste. Anyways, Kafka. Ugh. Sorry, that was involuntary. <clears throat> right, Kafka. Kafka has what I like to call hot jazzy sauce. She's sexy and sultry, but full of charisma. I would like to insert myself between her thighs like a slice of deli meat in a sub sandwich. This woman is perfection. I mean, she's got that saucy yandere squint. She has that sensual voice with that gentle husk to it. She's a... Uh, uh, yeah, this is a mommy. Next up, we have March 7th. Okay, March 7th is pretty freaking stupid, but she's wholesome. She's wholesome stupid. She has a good heart, and honestly, her design is also super cute. She seems like a very good and loyal and trustworthy friend as well. So for that reason, I am going to place March into the BFF tier. Moving forward, we have Natasha. Listen, there is something about women in Honkai who have these eyes that kind of squint a little at the bottom. I call them Yandere eyes. That just makes them so freaking hot. Also, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but fun fact, Natasha has an ass window built into her dress. So I don't really think I need to elaborate. Natasha is a mommy and she can nurse me from her neck nipple any day of the week. Next, Pella. Pella is nice. I think I just have a thing for hats when it comes to character design, but genuinely Pella looks amazing. The glasses really complement her aesthetic. I love the black gloves. I love the sheer black leggings. I think her hairstyle really suits her. And overall, I just find her to be very aesthetically pleasing. So into the aesthetic tier she goes. Up next, we have Fantilia. I'm not gonna lie, during this boss fight, I just kept thinking about her flicking me so damn hard that I'd go flying backwards, bounce off the left side of the screen and inadvertently launch myself like a torpedo into her bosom, and this was a thought that made it very difficult to focus on the fight. Now, did this thought ever materialize into reality? No, but did I want it to? Absolutely yes. Case in point, Fantilia is a mommy in every and all forms. All right, next up, we have, I, I can't pronounce her name, so I just call her QQ. QQ is cute as heck, and she honestly seems like a really good time. I really like her color scheme. Her little boots are super adorable. This little white poof ball in her hair is peak, and she seems like a fun person. So with that in mind, I am going to place her into the BFF tier. Moving forward, we have Seal, Zila, Seely. I'm going to be honest, I actually hate Seal's outfit. Like, it's just... We'll talk about it in another video. However, everything else is a redeeming quality. Cute yet fierce expression, beautiful color scheme. I love how her hair is this bright electric purple underneath. It's a nice contrast to the dark purple of the rest of her hair, and she slaps harder than a floppy fish between a pair of thick thighs. It is never not Seal's turn. She absolutely dominates these enemies, and she looks hot while doing it. So for that reason, Seal has earned her place in the waifu tier alongside her waifu, Branya. Next up, we have Serval. Did you guys know that Serval is like 40? That alone is almost enough to justify adding her to the mommy tier, but I'm honestly not that attached to Serval. Like, don't get me wrong, she's hotter than the molten outer core of this very planet, and I love her unique style. I actually think she's one of the finest women in this game, but for some reason, I just don't feel as attached to her as I do to some of the other characters. I mean, in fairness, I did birth Seal from level zero all the way up to level 80, and my Serval is like, uh, level one. So I am inherently biased, but Serval is still a hot, sexy, gorgeous woman and I am putting her into Baberham Lincoln. Next up is Silverwolf. Silverwolf is basically Branya, except shorter, less regal, and with a different hairstyle. It's like if Branya got isekai'd into a harem full of gamers and never grew more than four feet tall because all she did all day was play Tetris online. Because in this AU, the harem is not interested in real life women. The harem is only interested in playing games because they're gamers. So all Branya did for the entirety of her life on this planet was play games, and that is Silverwolf. Ahem. <clears throat> Anyways, all that being said, for me, Silverwolf lacks the maturity and sophistication to stand on the same level as my waifu, Branya. So for that reason, I am placing Silverwolf into Baberham Lincoln as well. Moving forward, we have Stell. At first, my knee-jerk reaction was to put Stell into meh because I feel like every MC is always meh, but Stell is 
actually kind of hot. She's got a pretty cute design. I like her bright yellow eyes. She's relatively simple looking, but it works. And she fights with a baseball bat and a freaking fire lance and just tanks massive amounts of damage in her fire form, which is hella badass. So I actually think it would be criminal to place Stell into Met. And as such, we will also be placing her into Abraham Lincoln. Next up, we have Sushang. Timkin! Sushang's Timkin is so handsome boy, and he plump, and he cute, and I love him. Sushang's cool too, I guess. I'll put her into aesthetically pleasing, but the Timkin hard carries. Alright, moving forward, we have Ting Yoon. Ting Yoon is foxy in beauty at its finest. She has fuzzy ears, a seductive tail, toes, and a really nice neck. Don't laugh, don't laugh. She makes my neurons fire like crazy and she teases me every single banner when I think I'm finally going to pull her and then it's just another freaking March Eidolon. But that's what makes me so crazy for this woman. I mean, come on, Honkai cannot seriously be drawing a character like this and expecting me not to automatically and aggressively put her right into the mommy tier. Perfect, right next to Fantilia. Moving forward, we have Jue Yi. Wait, who is this again? She's hot, I'll put her into Abraham Lincoln. And last but not least, we have Yu Kong. I mean, look at this woman. She radiates confidence. Check out those long, powerful legs, these slits in the sides of her dress, the all-knowing smile in her eyes, the boob window, the thick hands. She's the mommy of our other foxy mommy, and therefore, she is also a mommy. All right, there it is, and there you have it. We actually wound up not putting a single character into the Mets here. I feel like I'm supposed to do that, but honestly, no one is Met in this game. Everyone is so damn hot, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Anyways, thank you all so much for joining me on this mommy tier listing journey. I hope you enjoyed yourselves as much as I did. Who is your personal favorite mommy? Let me know down in the comment section below. Please dominate that like button so that we can dominate the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe for more content, and I will see you in the next video. Also, yes, there will eventually be a daddy tier list as well. Okay, Suki, signing off.